Ohayo gozaimasu minasan. Here we are, Blade and Soul, at last. It's been a lot longer than I wanted because um, on the 17th of January the game was released, at least for early head start, and after about three days my computer died on me basically. I, it started crashing and freezing up and all this stuff and so I spent up until now, which is it's over a month later now, I finally got it all fixed and I can actually play now. Um, so it's been a shitty start of the year for me, I'll be honest. I was super excited to start making videos and stuff and I had recorded some stuff but I had to wipe windows like several times and so I lost most of that, whatever. It's, it's fine, here we are, we're ready to play. Um, you can see I have some guys leveled up. That's because uh, a little over a week ago, you know, I had my friend's computer. I borrowed it from him. Um, I kind of fixed it up for him because it, it also wasn't working, but that's a different story. Um, and it, it ran the game okay. It was like a 10-year-old computer, but obviously I couldn't record or anything like that. So I did get a couple leveling in or get some levels in. But anyway, here we are. Um, my plan for this Let's Play, as it were, uh, is to figure out what the story of this game is actually about because I have no idea. There's a ton of voice acting, there's lots of cutscenes, there's all sorts of cool stuff, but I've skipped all of it. I, I don't listen to any of that stuff, but I think I want to do that this time, you know, actually go through and see what's going on. Uh, the way the quests in this game works, there's um, gold quests and those are main story quests, there's purple quests, those are class quests, there's blue quests, which are like side quests, and then there's blue quests with like a infinity symbol in it. And those are daily quests that you get every single day. So um, uh, as far as that, I'm going to do the main quests and listen to all the dialogue for those, as well as the class quests, because the class quests only last up until level 20 or so. Um, you're just kind of teaching you like the basics of your class and stuff like that. Um, and then definitely the main quest. There's thousands of blue like side quests that are just like stupid little go here Do this go there do that which I mean I guess a lot of the main quests are like that too But they don't have voice acting generally. I don't think or maybe they do the side quest I... Anyway, there's way too many quests to do that. Fuck that. I'll just do the main story and see what's going on um, For the first little bit. I don't think I'll cut around very much. I'll just kind of show everything but later on I might kind of skip through just through the story stuff um, we'll have to see how I play that out. <coughs> so, um, just show you my characters. This is my assassin. I, I'm on Mush Mushin with my assassin. Um, when the game first released, uh, there was way too many people on Mushin. There was crazy queue times and stuff, but those are mostly gone now. I think the game has calmed down a lot, but that's why I have Mushin and then all of my other characters are on Master Hong, because I couldn't get into Mushin, so... Um, here's my summoner. This is definitely my main character. So much fun. I love summoners. They're, oh, it just fits me so well. This character, she's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, I have my computer back. I'm feeling good. Damn. But um, summoners are fun. A lot of people don't like them in PvP uh, because they're really strong. So it's like a pain in the ass to fight them. You have a cat with you that's like, so it's like, you know, you have a pet, kind of like a hunter. Um, so, and a lot of people think they're broken and overpowered. Uh, they're really strong, I have to admit. They are really strong, especially when you're fighting people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. Then it's extra easy to just kill people because they don't know how to properly fight back against a summoner. Um, but the higher up you get, you know, the, the better people I've fought, it has become way, way harder to, to win as a summoner. And if you look on the leaderboards, which they have now, um, summoners are not the top in the leaderboards, I don't think. So it's not like when you get to the top end, summoners struggle a little bit. They're a little harder to play just right, you know, but you can do it. This game is actually really balanced for what it is because they balance around 1v1 arena play. So it's, it's different than most games like World of Warcraft, for instance, they balance around 3v3. They don't balance 1v1 because they want, you know, 3v3 to kind of be their their staple or, or whatever it's it's kind of ridiculous they don't balance 1v1 they don't give a fuck but this game that's kind of what it's all about it's an esport in korea fun game it's free to play so if you want to download it you can go to bladensoul.com um, i'm rambling on here but i'll just show you my other characters real quick we got saitama hero i've been watching a lot of one punch man so you know obviously you're gonna make the kung fu master that whatever 
Um, we got Alpha Broly here. Uh, I just made a destroyer as physically big as I can make him, and he doesn't show up on the list. This is a bad idea, by the way, because walking through the game, it's difficult to control this guy. He takes up way too much space on the screen. Like, if I show you my Hanato Kovato, oh, she's so cute. But if you look at her, um, she winds up to about his knee in game. So in game, that's how tall she would be compared to this guy. He's, he's way too big, but whatever. I love it. It's funny. Um, so here's my character. We're going to be playing a blade dancer. Um, the Warlock class is going to be coming out on March 2nd, as you can see over here. Um, it's a new class. I'm going to play that. I don't know what they do or anything. I've seen some like art and stuff on it. It looks cool. We'll see. I've heard they're pretty broken, or they were broken when they released, but I think we're getting the post-nerf patch. So um, when they introduce the Warlocks, it's going to be the patch where they're nerfed, not when they're overpowered. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I'm still excited anyway. The only class I don't have here on the list is a Blade Master. Um, Blade Master and Blade Dancer are similar, uh, especially early levels, they're similar, but the later you get, they become very distinctly different in a lot of the ways they do it, um, just the way they block and do stuff like that. So I prefer, you know, these cute little, oh, the Lin, they're my favorite. <laughs> when I played Terra, I loved the Ellen, you know, I love these cute little, these cute little girls. Let me look at them, they're so cute. Oh my god. But, um, all right, so, um, so yeah, the idea, main story quest, let's see what's going on here. Without any further ado, I think we should get started. Um, I won't show you the character creator. The character creator is really good, though, so you should definitely check it out if you guys want to play the game. Maybe I'll do that when I create a warlock or something, but, all right, guys, let's get started and see what's going on. Heaven's Reach, one day ago. Hey! Wake up, Cricket! Uh, lazy bum! It's way past sunrise! You need to get up! Get up! Uh, what am I? Your mother? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that ended really abruptly. That was kind of weird. You're still in bed? That's not like you. Hurry and get dressed. Master Hong has called a meeting. All right, where's my uniform? Why are you asking me? You need to get moving. Use the W A S T. Oh, thanks, W A S T. That doesn't break my version. <laughs> so here we are. We're started up. Um, a lot of these first, you know, uh, gold quests are gonna be telling you how to move your character around and whatever. We'll probably skip some of it, but 
Um, yeah, let's, uh, you let's see what's up. Run for it, but you yeah, you yeah, should yeah. be ready for morning training, Cricket. Are you still asleep? Come on, rise and shine. I think your uniform... All right, so, got to pick up our uniform over here. Sounds good. So this is one day before I just got picked up on that boat out in the water. Um, I need to change a couple key bindings really quick, actually. Give me a second. All right, there we go. Let's put on my outfit and talk to you. Let's go make sure Gilhong is up. He's always the last out of bed. Cricket, hello. You're still not awake? Well, if you missed some of what I said, click J to open your <laughs> Okay, come on. This is uh this is the game. I think it looks pretty good. The game's um like five, six years old now. Uh so a lot of the textures are kinda shit and but anyway, I think they had a good art direction and everything for this game. I like it. Looks good. Plays really well, at least on my computer anyway. Now that it's not all broken. Let's wake this asshole up. Yeah, it runs really well. Alright, good morning, cricket. Hello. The sun's up and so am I. We should spar again today, Cricket. I almost had you yesterday. You did really well. Well, one of these days I'm gonna win. No one can stop Gil Hong. Alright. Woke him up. Let's talk to her. Great. Well, I'll be ready to meet Master Hong on time. Mostly, anyway. Oh, and Yung Muk's looking for you. Uh, these names are gonna be difficult. <laughs> oh, well. All right, here we go. Pretty little f butterfly floating around there. Showing me where to go, I guess. All right, let's talk to this guy. You overslept, Cricket. I won't have any students slacking on my watch. Master has called a meeting outside his quarters. Lu Song's off somewhere, and I want you and Jin Yong to find him. The meeting starts in a few minutes, so hurry. All right. So, we can sprint now. I've never actually heard that guy's voice. It's kind of weird. Uh, I'm going to change some audio settings really quick here. Give me one second. All right, there we go. We'll see if that helps. The audio for the speaking was a little low there. Anyway. All right, so this is sprinting. You can see my hands are glowing. That's because I'm a premium member. If you look up here, you can see my little icon. Um, you don't have to be a premium member to play this game. You can play it totally free. There's... Not that much benefits, it's like a little bit of money when you kill mobs and some combat experience and stuff like that. It's it's really not that huge. It helps a little bit for leveling and stuff like that, but meh. You can totally play this game free. The clouds are rolling in. Lusong! Hmm? Brother Lusong! Uh, what are you doing here? Everyone's waiting. <laughs> yes, I was about to head down. Oh, a little cricket is up early today. With my help, I might add. Huh? What's the matter? Over there! Uh, maybe not. But there was a woman in white in the sky. <laughs> Still half asleep, huh? <laughs> no, she was there. Oh. I swear. It's a little freaky. Okay. Well, that's all right. The bird that greets the rising sun is the first to eat its fill. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? It means those who train hard will be rewarded. Your day will come, Cricket. I'm hopeful that mine will come soon. Should we go to the duel hall? Yes, let's go to the duel hall. We can now glide. So when you sprint and jump, if you hit space again, you'll glide like this. Um, in this game, there's no mounts. Uh, everything is done through sprinting. Uh, later on, you get like more sprint, like sprint meter stamina, I guess is what it's called. Um, but yeah, it feels really good to run and jump around and float and you can kind of sprint in the air later on and like dash around and stuff it's 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 fun i kind of like it you know some people miss having mounts and i understand that but it feels good so i like it personally the game just feels good it runs well everything's i, I just love this game <laughs> so you can see when i when i'm looking like left and right this is my mouse 
So it's not locked like if I hold alt it kind of does this then I can move it around like maybe like another MMO might. If you want you can change the scheme to work that way um, where you turn kind of like a regular MMO but it's really not needed. It, it works better this way just the way the combat works but uh, we'll get into that a little more later I think. Let's go ahead and talk to Master Hong which is the server I'm on by the way. Everyone is here? Good. Gather around me then. Closer, please. <coughs> I have something important to tell you, and <coughs> my voice is not what it once was. Long ago, the Hong Moon School was known throughout the earthen realm. People from around the world wanted to learn our techniques, the Hong Moon arts. I am unable to teach as many students as I once did. Only a select few have I chosen to lead down the path of Hong Moon. Our techniques are powerful, and only the compassionate and the honorable should wield them. To walk the path of Hong Moon and learn its secrets, you must act selflessly. Help those in need, uphold justice, and live with integrity. That is the path of Hong Moon. I do not take the Hong Moon arts lightly. I will only impart the martial tome to those who are ready to follow the path. So keep training and keep treating each other well. You will all learn in time. Now, where was I? <coughs> ah, yes. Cricket, come with me, please. <laughs> uh, they always call us Cricket, these fucking assholes. All right, so he must have come teach us some stuff. Let's go up into his room. I've done this quest so many times. Click on the bookshelf. All right, pick up his, the tome he was just talking about. Have a look at it. So... This tome is <clears throat> your your talent system, basically, and you don't get them until you do this quest, uh, chapter 17. Uh, you do that around like level 18 to 20-ish, depending how fast you get there. But um, but yeah, and then I think at level 20 is when you can start putting points in, or I don't know, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, so these points are really useful. They're really important. They really flesh out your character's build and stuff like that. These are very important for PvP. Um, things like that. Later on, I guess we'll get more into like how to how to do some of this stuff. I don't know a ton about it, but some people they like to use this list. I prefer to use the icons when you're looking at them. But if you're learning your skills, you should come here. Um, it just lays things out a little better for you to just kind of look it over and read everything, like read what it does and stuff like that. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. I am entrusting this book to you. It may not seem to be of much help now, but as you gain a new level of understanding, this tome will show you new skills and techniques. Let it serve as a guide as you continue along your path. Okay. Now that you have this book to study, you are ready to train in the Hong Moon arts. I usually give my students more personal attention, but I, I am not well. Young Muck is an excellent teacher. Take the book to him at the Dual Hall. <coughs> Listen well and practice hard. I know you'll make me proud, Cricket. Oh, thanks, Master Hong. Let's go make him proud, everybody. Alright, so. That's cool. There's kind of lore into your, like, talent builds and stuff. I had no idea. I don't know any of this. It's completely new to me. Even though I've done these quests probably, like, 10 times, 15 times now. Because I played all through the beta. I played on the Chinese server. And I've played all my new characters, so... All right, let's see what you got to say, young muck. Well, why did Master want to see you? He gave me this book. He did? The martial tome is only granted to students ready for more training. <laughs> Up here, Cricket has been accepted as a disciple so soon. The book Master gave you contains all the basic Hong Moon fighting skills. You are a full member of the Hong Moon school. Cricket must be amazing to receive the tome after only three years. Three years? I've been here three years? That's interesting. I guess I don't know why I thought I was here like a couple of days or something for some reason like I don't know why I thought that probably because I skipped everything but <laughs> I've been here three years okay that makes sense so they're all kind of familiar with me and I'm familiar with them okay which means that from this moment forth you are a formal disciple of our clan congratulations I will personally oversee your training in the martial arts Took me much longer to be made an official disciple. Don't be jealous, bro. I'm fucking amazing. Here, you'll need a training weapon. Go ahead and equip it. So this is the weapon, and then these are the skills it's gonna teach me right now that I can use. Um, these are all the left mouse button, 
when you click the left mouse button once, it does this, and then when you click it again, it does this, and when you click it again, it does that. So um, yeah, that's just kind of how those work. They're basically the same exact thing. They just work a little different. Like this last one is more of a, a like a line damage, and the other two are um, more area in front of you. So I don't know. It's it's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and put on my weapon. Equip that shit. Train hard. Train yourself hard and uphold the teachings of the Hong Moon. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. He's gonna teach me the basics. I'm gonna skip this because it's pretty boring stuff. You're just you're just like left clicking on some training dummies that he spawns your in and stuff like that. But... Now. I expect your let us begin here with the go. very fundamentals of martial arts. Your opponent must be targeted and within range for your skills to be effective. Even the most powerful skill is worthless if it cannot reach the target. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It seems, uh, seems pretty basic. The basic skills of a blade dancer are breeze, gale, and storm. Target your opponent, and you will see the available skills at the bottom of the screen. Pressing left mouse button uses breeze, gale, and storm. Gain focus by using these skills. Focus is consumed when you use other more powerful skills. All right, so... Um, focus he's talking about is this. Uh, it's also called Chi. That's what it was called on like the Korean like uh, Whatever things, but we're not gonna do this to like go attack these guys. We'll just talk to him once you've gathered enough focus I don't need to practice it Takes years to master these skills. Don't neglect your training for now. Let's try another one okay. Music's getting a little intense so Now I think it wants me to do this thing where I a we like crazy I'm Gonna After go ahead and skip that focus I'm gonna skip these real it quick. Looks like you received a letter. You had better read it. All right. See the quest log <laughs> on the right side of the screen. Move Ye your cursor over to the letter icon and click to read it. Press the escape key or hold down the alt key to activate the cursor. So, uh, when I was first playing on the it Chinese looks server, like you received a letter. Okay, shut you up. Better read it. They're gonna talk a lot about this stuff, like letters, because you're gonna see them if you look at the right over here with my mouse. Um, you'll see a next and that means you have to click this or else you cannot like further the quest and sometimes you can use it to turn in dailies um, but yeah so if you hold alt it brings your mouse up because your mouse is originally just your little cursor that's locked there uh, it works similar to Terra if you hit escape it brings up your menus and your mouse is up and stuff and it'll also bring up like if if there were some people here it would show me their names and I could click on them and you know do whatever like look at their character and stuff like you so here we go all right a cricket that tr only trains in the light will not be prepared to fight the dark if you wish to can become a true disciple of hong moon go to the proving grounds and confront your fear all right so Have that's the letter to the proving grounds? see there was a little bird there that just flew down that, that happens a lot when you get letters and stuff they just like fly a little like crow in and just drop shit anyway you've done well today cricket we will continue training, but you are certainly a capable student. <laughs> Cricket mastered the basic techniques faster than any student I've seen. Even I took longer. <laughs> I didn't do the techniques, so... Wait, what is this shit? I skipped them. Your next trial will prove more challenging. All Hong Moon disciples must enter the proving grounds. The test represents the fear we all carry inside ourselves. All right. If you are to be a true member of the Hong Moon, you must conquer that fear. I will take you to the cavern, but you must enter alone. All right, let's head to the cavern. We reach level two. So the last time I was recording this, I actually recorded this once before. And uh, well, I, I was gonna try to record before um, doing this kind of thing, but I had some crashes before I was able to get to this point. So that sucked ass, but hey, we're still running just fine. So I think uh, I think my computer's going to make it, you guys. I'm excited to finally be playing, recording videos for you guys. Whew. I've been, I've been waiting. I want to play some Overwatch too. I want to play, I still want to get into like uh, The Witcher 3 and some other of those things I wanted to do, but we'll see. Right now, Blade and Soul has really stolen my heart. That and the Overwatch beta came back. So uh, those will be the games I'll be playing uh, for now. Here we go. So we gotta attack these target dummies. So, <clears throat> as you can imagine, you can't swing away from them or you're not gonna hit them unless you have an AoE, like this thing. 
you know, all of your skills have uh, kind of areas and stuff. They're not just like targeted onto them and automatically hit them. So it's a fun combat system for sure. Get some spins in there. All right. Oh, we got our master warrior here. Let's fuck him up. Nope. <laughs> ah, shit. All right, so he fucked me up. So he's asking you to move right now. So if you crawl, you can crawl right now. I'm not technically dead. I'm near death. So he's saying to move away from him. The reason why they're saying to move away is because if anyone hits you with any skill at all, you will die. So like if he does an AOE right there, I will get hit by it. Um, that's important for like bosses and stuff like that, just to keep in mind. But uh, we hit one and we're recovering our chi, whatever. We're just gonna res ourselves. It takes a while. You can have teammates if you're in a party. They can help you res faster if you do go down. Um, this game doesn't have like designated healers or anything. Um, so let's see. It's, so it's asking us right now to use our healing tonic. So there we go. You were chosen. Oh, it's uh that one dude that was up on the hill. You're not giving up, are you, Cricket? Master Hong must have faith in you. Take time to reflect and come back when you're ready. Okay, well, I guess we'll exit the cavern now. We reached level three. It's going very quickly. They give you <laughs> first bunch of levels, they give you them very quickly, but here we go. I forgot what I was saying before. Some stuff's gonna happen right here, though. Shit's going down. Warn the others, I'll hold them off. Ha, uh, June. Okay, they're fighting some, like, specter dudes. Let's get up there. Gotta warn the others. Return to the school. Alright, here we go. Oh, the dogs. What the hell happened? Oh, shit. Is that Master Hong up there? <laughs> it's yourself you should worry about. I'll kill you. You didn't kill shit. Did the opposite. Fuck, dude. It's a boss fight time? What the hell's going on? on him. Oh, I gotta help him. <laughs> Let's get in there, son. Oh, no. Some of these demon things. They actually look pretty cool. These fiends. Alright, well, let's fuck them up. We gotta kill four of them. If you look on the right side there. Alright. Can we see him actually fighting over there? No. Yeah, whatever. One more and we got another cutscene. So well, that sucks. Did this, are they all dead now? I had no idea. I've really never followed these quests. No idea what's happening. Oh shit.
Oh shit. <laughs> what is he? Is he a secret agent? Loose hung. You betrayed us. <laughs> you disappoint me, Master. Is this the true power of Hong Moon? Maybe the poison I put in your daily medicine wasn't even necessary. Poison in my medicine? But why? To get the Hong Moon secret techniques. Though, with the school's performance today, I wonder why I ever bothered. Feeling weak, Master? I should have just taken the secret scrolls from you. <laughs> that sucks. You fucking poisoning? You dick? Hmm. Oh. He's going ham. Don't do it. <laughs> Just let me die. You dummy. No. It's a cool looking sword, by the way. Look at me. <gasps> no! Master Hong. She just killed him. She's kind of sexy. Gotta admit. She just like fucking bitch slapped me off the side of the cliff. Oh no. All my friends. No. <laughs> no. got into the water. What's that little orb thing following me? I don't know what that is. Shh. 
Should I go and finish the job? Don't bother. No one survives the Black Rose. What's the Black Rose? Is that her attack or the... the, the ocean I just fell into? Well, shit. I had no idea any of this happened. It's fucked up. So that's the fire the guy saw. Oh. I see. I think that little orb is one of my skill thing. He's that I get from my class. It's not supposed to be there, I don't think. Oh, is that the the lady that one girl saw flying? How's that? Wake up. Please. You are our last hope. Please stop her. Stop Jin Soyeon. That was like a pretty cool little intro. I, I kind of like that. You know, it's not bad. It's an MMO, you know. All right. <laughs> all right then. So that sucks. I didn't know I came from like clan. They got all fucked up. The Hogmoon clan. Shit. Uh, ah, you're awake. I was here in fighting. Okay. Are you all right? Goodness, I can't imagine what you've gone through. I'm Nam So You. I should tell Papa you're awake. Who's that? You've never heard of Captain Dochin? Really? He's from the Hong Moon School, like you. He left Heaven's Reach a long time ago, but he's a legend here. Okay. So there's more people that left the Hong Moon School, and I was just there training at the time. All right, all right. That makes sense. He's captain of the Bamboo Guard, off battling the Black Ram. Papa is always fighting. I'm scared he won't make it back one day. Okay. The Black Ram are already on the beach. I'm so worried. If only we had more warriors. Goodness, this could be the end. I can fight. Really? Thank you, but be careful. Please, everyone's right outside. Don't forget your weapon. Po Suljin might know what to do. He's right outside. All right, let's go talk to this guy, Cole Suljin. You recruit, huh? Congratulations. But I don't have time for nonsense. Be useful and get these ammo boxes to Gun One before we're all dead. What? You're waiting for a written invitation? <laughs> go. We need to save Bamboo Village from those filthy marauders. All right, gunpowder to this guy. I've done this quest a lot. I didn't know I was bringing gunpowder over here. You're the Hong Moon student, right? Like the captain? Nice. You look pretty strong for someone who almost died. If you're half as good as the captain, then you'll be a big help. Captain Dochen's the one who fished you out of the water. Run over and show him your gratitude. The, uh... The audio levels seem a little... sketchy. For, like, the recordings and stuff. The music's kind of loud right now, even though I have the music, like, way down in the audio settings. Whatever. You can't miss him. He's the one-man army cleaning up the beach. Ooh, more cutscenes. There's a ton of these, by the way, in this game. These little cutscenes. Oh, he's the... Is he the captain guy? He's the guy that saved me, right? From the boat. <laughs> Yep, that's him. I can tell you're itching for a fight. He's a great warrior, but I'm sure he'd like some help. <laughs> sure, I will help. I love your attitude. Just head to the coast and lend a hand. Sunjen and Yuhan left a few minutes ago. They'll help you. Okay. Captain Doshin's right over there. Help him out. I actually have no idea how long I've been recording for, I'll be honest. 
So it's had to, it has to have been like 40 minutes or something. Or we're gonna keep playing. Fuck it. Long episode. What's up, dude? Guess we gotta defeat these elite guards, three of them. Okay. It's done. Blue circles. What does it want me to do? Rescue on conscious guard and bring him back. Here we go. Let's go pick a guy up. Don't need to fight these dudes. Please take my friend first. I want to look at this. <laughs> uh, it looks a little weird. Whatever, we're doing it. Let's go. Yeah. So cute. Oh my god. Let me see him. He's completely out. He's lucky you came when you did. Wak Chill's a good kid. He'll owe you his life. Okay. Wait. You're the one Dochen rescued. It's amazing you're still on your feet. I've never seen anything like your wound. It's terribly fascinating. Dochen called it the mark of the Black Rose. He was worried you'd never wake. Seeing you up now is incredible. Okay, the Black Rose. So she did mark me with like a spell. All right. You should take a rest and then talk with him. The Black Ram have retreated for now, so I'll attend to the injury. The Black Ram come back though, like rats when you leave the table. Return to the healing house where you woke up. I will send Dochin your way, and we'll work out our counterattack. All right, let's go figure out our counterattack. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. I remember seeing some like that curse of the black lotus or whatever happen in a bunch. Now I know what that means. Okay. I am glad to see your strength has returned. You were unconscious for many days, and I feared the worst. But those from the Hong Moon School are a hardy lot. I should know. I was one of Master Hong's students long ago. My name is Dojin, and I lead the Bamboo Guard here in the village. A few nights ago, I saw a firestorm raging high on Heaven's Reach. Fearing the worst, I sailed out to help, but arrived only too late. I... I saw the destruction. Bodies floating in the sea. What has happened to the Hong Moon School? A woman named Jin So Yun slaughtered the students. Damn right she slaughtered them. Fuck. Jin So Yun? Perhaps Master Hong mentioned that name once or twice. What would drive this woman to such depravity? And how did she infiltrate the school? A student, Lu Sung, betrayed us. By the heavens! Lu Sung? I only met him once. Something unsettling clung to him. It was unmistakable. Tell me, did Master Hong escape the destruction? <sighs> No, the heat was fucking incinerated, man. This news weighs heavily on me, warrior. But my immediate concern must be the safety of the village. Yes, of course. Black Ram marauders who attacked Bamboo Village must be stopped for good. Perhaps I can gather intelligence about this Jinsuyan. But in the meantime, can I ask you to stay here and help defend the village? I will help defend the village. I sense you are one with great potential. John is the term used within the world of warriors for such a person. Go forth and honor the Hong Moon Way, John. John. Alright, I'm not cricket anymore, I'm John. I guess, maybe. <laughs> Alright, here we go, back outside. Speak with this guy again. What's up? Oh, hi. Nice to see you again. Look, thanks for helping out earlier. I know I was rude when we met. Sorry about that. You seem alright. <laughs> He's like, he feels bad. Oh. The captain trusts you, and that's good enough for me. I'd be honored to fight by your side. Can't say the same for Little Master, wherever he is. Who is Little Master? Sorry, I mean Doden. He's the captain's son and a hero in his own mind. He's a fun kid, but about as reliable as a grass sword. It seems that every time the Black Ram attacks, Doden goes missing. It could be a coincidence, but the Black Ram always seem to know when our munitions are low. I like that you seem quiet and private. Can you keep a secret? I know he's the captain's son. But the way he's been acting is suspicious, right? Could Doden be a spy? Mm, I don't know. Don't tell anyone. But I was following him earlier. He was off his post and heading towards the coast. He and his crony ducked around like they were afraid of being spotted. Then I saw the Black Ram ships come in. I ran back to town and warned everyone. Doden's still missing. I bet he headed to the Black Ram camp. Is he delivering messages to the Black Ram? Where's this camp? I'm not sure where the Black Ram are hiding, but they must be close. I bet one of those coastal grunts has a map on them. Okay. 
So we gotta track down Doden, get a map from the guy. You'll track Doden down? Thanks. Okay, I'll track him down. Look, you didn't hear any of this from me. Oh, I didn't hear shit from nobody. Let's do this. Here we go. Got my little glowy hands, gonna fuck some shit up. So this thing's pretty annoying. It's gonna be here till I do the quest thingy it wants me to do. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll just kill these guys real quick. So these guys drop on the map. This is all coming together. I've done these quests a lot of fucking times, but I had no idea what I was doing. Kinda, you know, I get it. Stories doesn't seem so bad so far. I'm kind of enjoying it. Whereas generally I don't, but uh, you know, the voice acting helps. Don't have to pay too much attention. Here we go. See, so you see how this thing, it's over top of it, it's got the yellow. That means your YOLO quest item has dropped. It does that for blue quests as well. All right, so I guess we have the map now and the map is gonna tell us to go here. So even though I didn't look at the map, Boom, boom, boom. It's gonna be hard to read these names because I think this is Korean names, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how to speak Korean. I'm learning Japanese, so I'm reading the names Japanese-like, but <laughs> it, it doesn't work too well. All right, here we go. You're with the guard, thank goodness. Finally, reinforcements. Now we'll show these rapscallions what for. <laughs> What the fuck kind of voice is that? A spy? You don't mean Master Doden, do you? Why, you must be mistaken, stranger. Master Doden is the noblest, loyalist, most wonderful guardsman in the service. Ah, it's such a familiar voice. Like, he's he's in a lot of stuff, isn't he? Like, movies and shit? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I'm going crazy. He sounds fucking weird, though. I like it. Also a little impulsive. He found a map to this secret hideout, and he decided to teach these pirates a lesson. And now he's been locked in a cage. Poor little Master Doden. If only Master Dochen paid him more attention. I was just about to save the little master myself. Really. But now that you're here, you can take the lead. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll take the lead. Do be careful. Master Doden's Coward. cage is surrounded by Black Ram rookies. Don't let their name fool you. They're real toughies. Be careful. Alright, I guess they're talking about these guys. They're rookies. They ain't shit. I got this. Boom. Here we go. Alright. Let's open the cage. Here's Doden. I'm Doden, of course. You're just in time, as I planned. I knew Suljin would send someone for me. He's a big fan, you know. <laughs> this guy seems like a douchebag. Get warmed up, because we are about to go. That's right. You get to be part of the next step of my grand plan. <laughs> right over there, you'll see the Black Ram flagship. Boring, right? No. I've overheard that it's brimming with ammo and explosives. Here's the idea. We aim a cannon at it and let it fly. This beach will light up like a festival in our honor. You may go now. I have utter faith in you, friend. For being such a big help, you may have the honor of lighting the cannon. <laughs> no way I'm getting near that death trap. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Oh, uh, this, this fucking guy. I finally ended the Black Ram Menace. Lucky you. You get to be part of the explosive finale. <laughs> wow. What a douchebag. I love it. All right, let's go shoot this cannon. Boom! Master Doden, look, 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 we did it. Crap, watch out. Oh, oh shit. Captain's there. There's a lot more health than the other guys did. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. I think I scared him off. Holy shit. It's a big explosion. So it looks like they're retreating. Because we fucked up the captain, I guess. Take that, 
you scoundrels! Look at them sailing away like cowards! Wow, Quan was upset. <laughs> Where'd he go anyway? That was way too close. Who's Guan? You don't know Guan? Right, you're from a mountain or something. He's the leader of the Black Ram in the area. He's pretty tough. Really? That's a good thing you injured him with the explosion. He's usually stronger than a Narlox. He'll be back. He'll be mad. Ah, I see. We need to rally everyone and prepare for the retaliation. Let's win stride back before Guan catches up. What's a win stride? It's a good thing you have someone smart like me to help you. You win stride when you want to get somewhere far away in a snap. <laughs> what a simpleton. Fuck you, dude. Okay. Use M to open the map. You'll see a marker. Press it and hold on tight. <laughs> this isn't easy for amateurs. All right. So yeah, this is what they call it, wind striding. You click here. It costs money. The further away you go, the more it costs. Um, at low levels, it costs. It feels like it costs a lot because money is like really small when you're first starting out. But when you get to max level, these cost pretty much nothing. They're you know a couple silver. It's not a big deal really for the most part. So, but yeah, this one's free. Let's go ahead and do it. It's wind stride. So it's this is this game's form of like fast traveling or instead of like making you fly on like a griffin in wow or something it just has a little spawn time and then it just teleports you there so it's it's pretty nice i like it helps you get around a lot faster all right back in town we are well we did that. I think it's time to uh, end this episode off because I have no idea how long I've been recording for. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun, guys. Hopefully you've liked it so far. The story's been kind of cool. I kind of like it, you know. Ah, it feels good. It's a, it's a story. We'll see. We'll see how far I make it into this before I go insane. But all right, guys. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Ja, mata.